Nine, the state's new criminal justice law has started to go into effect today. It requires departments to track details like each time an officer uses a gun and makes all misconduct reports permanent. And WGN's Ben Bradley has more. Governor J.B. Pritzker signed a sweeping criminal justice reform bill into law in February. And starting today, the first parts of that law begin to take effect. The 764-page law was supplemented by an eight-page trailer bill that made some minor fixes. I can breathe. The law was passed in the wake of the George Floyd killing amidst calls for racial justice and police reform. Before it was law, the bill was widely debated and opposed by many police organizations. It fundamentally changes the way we do polices, policing in this state. It fundamentally reimagines how we look at criminal justice in this state. State Senator LG Sims spearheaded the bill in the legislature and says its goal is to restore broken trust between the public and police. The Safety Act was all about improving the pro profession of policing, but also improving com uh, relations between community and law enforcement. It requires all police misconduct records to be kept permanent on file. When an officer uses uses their, their weapon, keeping track of those things because that's ultimately when we as we are trying to make the changes to uh, use of force, you want to make sure and understand how that how that plays out. All police officers are now required to track and report when they pull a gun on someone, use force resulting in death or serious injury, and are dispatched to a situation in which a person is having a mental health crisis. Being able to track that helps us to deploy resources effectively. All officers in Illinois now have a new legally binding duty to render aid and life-saving assistance if someone, even a suspect, is injured, and to intervene if another cop is using excessive force. There are protections for whistleblowers. Uh, the Safety Act uh, that builds in protections for whistleblowers. It says that there, you can't, there, there cannot be any retribution when an, officer, when an officer does step in. Officers are also limited in how they can use force. Chokeholds will be banned, and so will chemical agents like tear gas, unless it's first announced to a crowd. Also, the use of rubber bullets and tasers will be restricted. Cops can't aim them at someone's head, neck, chest, or groin. People have the, they have the constitutional right to, to, to to freely protest, and but when they when they do when they do protest, they're protected. Not you want to be able to encourage the use of non-lethal force. And not every not every instance requires the use of force. Some of the law's biggest changes aren't taking effect for a while. For example, the end of cash bail won't happen until 2023, and the requirement that all officers across the state be equipped with body cameras that won't take effect until 2025. Also, the controversial push to end qualified immunity. The protection that keeps cops from being held personally liable for their on-duty actions, that is not part of the new law. I'm looking forward to this being model legislation that will, that will take, take hold around the country. Ben Bradley, WGN News. As of today, the minimum wage in Chicago is $15 an hour.